The car has come a long way since Carl Benz's creation in 1885. So how has the car gone from being a rich man's toy into a bare necessity for the 21st century Homo sapien? I believe several cars have got us to this point, but we owe an awful lot to some special automobiles who have done a lot for the fabric of society and have helped us to evolve into petrol heads and car lovers. No longer is the car an impossible dream, it's as important to our lives as a house, a dog or a handbag. So which cars have had the most influence on the way we live? This is a particularly hard one to explore, and virtually nobody will agree with me. But I've decided to rank the 10 cars that I think have done more for the human race as a whole over the last 130 years. But please don't be too irritated if Benz's car or even the Model T don't feature here, because the cars coming up are the cars that have literally transformed society as a whole. So just go with me on this. Two cars share 10th place in my list. First of all, Jasper Carrot's favourite car. No, it isn't. He called it an upturned corrugated pram on wheels. But the 2CV was in production for 42 years, and despite engines ranging between 9 and 29 horsepower, it transformed the rural countrysides of Europe forever. Alongside it sits the East German instrument of control that was the Trabant 601. Over 3 million were produced, and it was the vehicle of revolution that aided the East German population to tear down the Berlin Wall. It is as influential as it is iconic. At ninth, Lada have a lot to thank the Riva for. Okay, so it was actually a car born out of the Fiat 124, but it went global and practically viral, including in Britain during the industrial crash of the 80s. It's awful, pathetic and disgraceful, but it gave people who'd never had cars before a chance of independence. Just as well the Americans had a better idea then. The Ford Mustang is for people who prefer power and style over comfort and practicality. It's noisy, boisterous and temperamental, but that's the ultimate charm of it. And that's why it's still evolving after six decades. Now, if the 2CV was a tortoise, then the Renault 4 was France's first automobile hair. The Clio would never have happened without the Renault 4, and none of Citroen or Peugeot's hot hatches would have either for that matter. The Renault 4's success was in its pure simplicity and its nippy attitude, and they're still incredibly cute. At number 6 comes the Mazda MX-5. In a world where a sporty roadster is a luxury item, the MX-5 has perfected the cheap and cheerful, reliable and somehow sensationally stylish coupe to perfection. And like a fine wine, as time goes on, it just gets better and better. And I love them all. My favourite car of all time comes next. Who'd have thought Hitler's vehicle of tyranny would have been embraced by the flower power hippie culture of 1960s America, only to infect the whole planet with beetle fever. 21 million of the original were built, and now the new versions are keeping the bandwagon rolling. I doubt Sir Alec Isigonis could have thought, however, that his little mini would not only become a rallying and touring car legend, or dazzle the great Enzo Ferrari himself, who owns several of them, but be a worldwide craze that is now celebrating a sensational rebirth, which again, is going global. Mind you, the Fiat 500 has done exactly the same thing, and in my opinion, to better effect. Spare parts could be bought from newsagents in the 1960s, and now these little cars are absolutely everywhere, and the new one looks like it's going to be even better. Long live the Chinky Cento! Now, my runner-up is the Ford Transit. What other van has enjoyed greater commercial success worldwide? Yes, it's not technically a car, but it cannot be denied. It has completely changed the way the human race exists. But we couldn't have a van win this. So let's stick with something more sensible. My winner is the hero of the Hot Hatch era. No car did better at Hot Hatch than the Volkswagen Golf. Since 1974, they just keep coming back for yet more upgrades, and it's regenerated more times than Doctor Who, with each one being as successful as the last. And worldwide, it's just about the most influential car in each of the six continents it's present in. And if penguins could drive, they'd probably love it too. And have you seen the new one? This is how the latest version could look. And I have to say, I've never seen a sexier looking German hot hatch. Let us know your thoughts in the comments box below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.